but a little blustery afternoon here at the Cardinal Sports Complex with a stiff breeze coming in from center field. The Coon Rapids Cardinals host the Spring Lake Park Panthers. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro behind home plate and Howie, a, a Cardinal team looking toward the month of May as a, a chance to gear up and get ready for the postseason. Yeah, coming off a big win over Grand Rapids where they hit the ball well, scored nine runs, and, and that was productive. They're coming into here against the Spring Lake Park team that's got a little bit of step, a little bit of pickup in their step, but coming off a 9-7 win over Champlin. So this will be an interesting game, new conference rival in Spring Lake Park. And, Joe, it, uh, it'll be interesting to see how their ball club looks. Blake Lutman, the left fielder, ready to dig in. Connor Boone getting the start for Coon Rapids. And we're ready to play ball. Fastball down the middle, strike one call. Lutman hitting 111 as he steps to the plate, facing Connor Boone. I went in on the hands a little bit, fouled off by Lutman. Connor comes in with a one to one record, a 3.10 ERA. Connor Boone quickly ahead in the count 0-2. Lutman swings and misses. He's done on three pitches. Nice way to start the game. Cardinals, Joe, winners of three in a row would like to carry that over, continue that winning streak here against Spring Lake Park. Ryan Bratch at the dish next for the Panthers. Looks at one down and away, ball one. Bratch hitting 324 from the second spot. You see Aaron Murphy on deck behind him. Josh White, the first base minder, is in the cleanup spot. Pitch is low. McKendons, Weber, Turnquist, Antonio Zepeda, and Mason Price. The pitcher catcher battery hitting at the bottom of the order. This one fouled back out of play by Bratch. It's two and one. Cardinals are missing a couple of players today. A couple of players being sick and one with injury, so they're switching their lineup a little bit. Nice pitch from Boone there. Bratch thought about it and thought about it, held off, and that pitch was right there on the edge, strike two. This one hit back up the middle, right over the bag. Wojo, a long way to his left to get it, and a gun to the bag to get out number two. Yeah, that was a nice play by Wojo talking to Coach Coe about, uh, about Wojo's position at shortstop since he feels that uh, you know he's the best player on this team to handle that job. And you saw a strong throw from behind the bag to get the second out of the inning. We've seen Wojo a lot more at third yep. the last few years, but they have always, uh, over that period, kind of been going through a number of different shortstops. Aaron Murphy, the leading hitter on this club, 371 as he comes to the, the plate. This one foul and out of play. One and one. That was great range by Wojo. I was, oh, questioning, absolutely. I was questioning the move of a big guy like that to shortstop, but great range to get to that and a good throw, strong throw. Roller to the left side, scooped up by Dumovic and his throw not quite in time. Had to come in quite a ways for that as it, Murphy really didn't get a lot of it. And it slowed down in the grass and it's an infield single. Yeah, it did. And it's a tough throw from that position at third, especially when the ball is moving slowly like that. But a nice, uh, nice dig by Noah Cost to make sure he kept it in the glove. First baseman, Josh White. In the cleanup spot with one out or one on and two out. White hitting 217 on the season. Trying to move that runner along and see if he can keep his inning going. Got a piece of that fastball. But it's one and one.
Boone trying to tempt him with something low. White not offering. He's ahead in the count now, 2 1. Look at Murphy over at first. We'll come to the plate. Murphy's going. Pitch is low. Throw is not in time. A stolen base for Aaron Murphy. A nice job by Aaron Murphy with two away to be able to get, take second on that play. And now three and one count. It's Murphy's fourth stolen base on the season. Three and one count to White with a runner in scoring position. Swings and misses three and two. A big strike pitch there from Connor Boone. With two away, he doesn't want to come away with any damage here. He's concerned about that hitter at the plate. A speed pitch misses down and away, ball four. And the inning can, will continue with Ben McKendens. It's always dangerous when you, when you give up with a couple of outs, you give up those kind of plays and you give the free pass here as Zimbeck's going to take a walk out to the mound to talk to Connor Boone before they face uh, Ben McKendez. Two sixty nine on the season. Boone with a fastball for a strike. Let's see if he wants to keep that ball low in the strike zone to the to the hitter, a little taller hitter at the plate. That one is just going to. Dumovic able to come in and make the play across to Koss. And the Cardinals get out of the inning. I thought that one was going to die in the infield as well, but a good play by Dumovic on the run gets the Cardinals out of a little bit of a jam. Their first chance at the plate when we return on CTF. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcast with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Wind has slowed a little bit since we started the top of the first. It has. Sun's Just out. in time for the home team to come to the plate. And now the wind's blowing towards right. Cardinals will lead off with Noel Wolf. Connor Boone, the pitcher, hitting second. Tyler Wojciechowski behind him. Noah Koss is in the cleanup spot. Justin Reeves DHing today and hitting fifth. Jake Dumovic, Mike Zimbeck, Jordan Little, and finally Jared Crawford, the center fielder. And Joe, he's, they're facing Mason Price. Big tall right-hander on the mound throwing to Antonio Zepeda. On the right side of the infield, Josh White and Ben McKendens. Justin Weber is playing it short. Luke Turnquist at third. Ludman, Murphy, and Bratch patrol the grass for the Panthers. Wolf hitting 368 as he steps up leading off here for Coon Rapids. Cardinals been hitting the ball well this season. Not a ton of speed on that, but it curves at just the right spot for strike one. Well, good control. He's got a 1.9 earned run average. A one and one record on the season does Mason Price. This one lined to the right side and down for a base knock. Nice easy stroke for Noah Wolf to get a leadoff single. Uh, he, was a, he was able a solid base hit for Noah Wolf to start this game. And you know, Joe, that's what the Cardinals want to do. They want to apply pressure on teams early on with their with their hitters, especially up early, you know, early in the lineup. 
Boone hitting Connor Boone up next, hitting 370. Again, bends it right over the plate, and Boone takes a look at strike one. This one popped back and out of play. Just took a peek to see if the gentleman from Friday was in attendance. I did, I did as well, actually. Uh, poor gentleman got hit in, the, hit in the noggin with a foul ball sitting behind home plate. It was a good turn to the bag by yep. Mason Price. But Boone able, or uh, Wolf able to dive back safely. Down in the dirt, nice dig by Zepeda. One and two. You know, we were, we were talking, we have seen uh, Antonio Zepeda before, and I think it was, I think it was uh, Legion Ball, I believe. Yeah, and the curveball this time, not able to find the zone. It can't be an easy take oh. for Connor Boone up yeah. there. Got to be patient there, and I'll tell you, and you got to make sure that that, uh, you pretty much think that's a ball. That's a tough one to hold off of. This one lined to left, and it's down for a knock, running toward the gap. They had the runner, Wolf, off with the pitch. Boone alertly going to scamper over to second on the air and throw. And the Cardinals with some cooking, second and third, nobody out here in the bottom of the first yeah, inning. Yeah, nice, nice way for the Cardinals to start. Nice piece of hitting by Connor Boone. Hit and run was on and both sides delivered. It'll be a single for Boone. He'll advance on the throw. Eli Valder, Joe, is, uh, is courtesy runner for Connor Boone over at second for Coon Rapids. And, and Wojo scorching, he's, he's lit this place is uh, on fire with him. He's hitting the First ball so pitch, well. First grounded to the left side, look home, and then a throw over from Weber to White to get the out. Valder will advance to third. Wolf scores easily. Uh, that was, he didn't Wojo out on a fielder's choice, but gets the RBI. He didn't waste any time offering it that first pitch from Mason Price. Brings up Noah Koss. Runner at third, still only one out. Noah hitting 250 on the season. Hard ground ball or a hit to the outfield. Fly to the outfield, that is. You know, an opportunity for Noah to, to make an impression on the coaching staff, get an opportunity to play here with, you know, Cardinals missing a couple of players, wasn't in the lineup originally. Fouls this one off, 0-2. On and a pressure spot to me. With only one out in that runner at third base, Cardinals need to capitalize. Actually, Noah was in the, in the lineup originally, so I take that back. Coach Coe had to kind of juggle his lineup here at the last minute when he got to the ballpark. Zepeda jumped up, wanted that one high. They had a pitch to play with, and Koss wisely lays off. Way upstairs, and that time Zepeda was set up in the dirt. Two two down to Noah Koss. Another big bender from Price, and the count is full. You know, Price puts himself in a tough situation. Just one away, and the runner at third. Already, one. already run one across. The worst things have definitely happened for a pitcher than to walk the batter in this situation, which would put the double play in effect. And that is what is going to happen as Koss was 
down and away, and a stop by Zepeda. Yeah, he worked himself back into that, and, and that's the one thing for Bryce, is he had the opportunity to, to eliminate the, the hitter. Ended up walking and bringing up an opportunity now for Justin Reeves with runners at the corners. Justin hitting 393 on the season. He's hitting the ball well. Fastball misses down and away for Price. Reeves ahead and they count 1-0. This is low again, 2 and 0. I think call one of those a strike. I stand corrected. <laughs> Actually, he's sitting. This one rolled towards second. McKendas to Weber for one. And the throw takes White off the bag. And the run will score from third. So Reeves on by fielder's choice. And unfortunately for Spring Lake Park, couldn't complete that double play. And with his foot coming off the bag, allows Coon Rapids to go up 2 nothing. Jake Dumovic. When he's been hot, he was three for three, I think with three RBI against uh, Grand Rapids, Joe. First pitch is right there, belt high, but he holds off 0-1. Yeah, three for three, three RBIs, two runs scored. Hitting 250, I'd like to continue to uh, raise that average. Pitch well outside, Zepeda out of his crush to recover. Well, he, he's definitely working for it here, Joe. Zepeda behind the plate. Cardinals are trying to extend this first, their bottom half of the first. Check the runner and Reeves back in plenty of time. <laughs> this one hit to center and will fall in front of Murphy. A solid single for Jake Dumovic. Keeps this inning rolling. It's four hits in a row now for Dumovic in his last four at bats, obviously. And and uh, it's nice to see him get the stick going. Leaves it up to Mike Zimbeck. With two out, two on, runners first and second. He's hitting 268 on the season. 265. Seventh batter of the inning, two across, two on. And two away. Price throws it in the dirt. Nice stop by Zepeda. Fastball up in the zone and Zimbeck swung underneath it a little bit. Fouls it back. Fastball missing down and away. And Zepeda again asked to play backstop. Come back, 
a good patience to the plate. Runs the count to three and one, Joe. And Price has to deliver something here. Does not want to load the bases. But he does, his second walk of the inning. They're all loaded up for jo Jordan Little. Jordan hitting 333 as he steps to the plate with bases loaded. There's head coach Jeff Dainty. And you remember you must remember Jeff. He used to coach Blaine. That's the last time we saw him. You now you remember everybody. First pitch is right there for Jordan Little. And it's 0 and 1. High down the right field line, curving toward foul territory. Long run, dive. And coming up empty is Ryan Branch in foul territory. A little able to keep his at bat alive. A nice, uh, nice effort by Bratch and Wright. Look good on the highlight film for the stretch anyway. Good attempt. All right, you got Guide on the right side of the infield. White underneath it makes the catch. And the Cardinals will leave the bases loaded. They do score two and take the lead. Second inning coming up next on CTF. So what is CTN Studios? Well, we're the local cable TV station in Coon Rapids. We bring you news, events, city government, sports, all the things that are happening in and around our community. So that means you'll find out what's going on next door, or at City Hall, or at the local schools. It's information other stations don't think is important, but we think it's information that's important to you. Want to know when streets are being fixed? Or learn new ways we can recycle? Or how the local teams are doing? You can find all of this on CTN. It's not just about bringing the community to you. It's about bringing you to the community. Because we think you'll like it here. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Cardinals bats give their pitcher an early lead to work with on a bright and sunny day at Ken Sunstrom Field. Yeah, it is a very nice day here for, for some baseball and, and one maybe one, the nicest day of the week to come. We're in store for a little weather issues and I know these teams do not want to see that. It's tough enough to get all your games in and we've had a pretty good spring so far. Well, in comparison to the last couple of years. It's been, it's been good. Connor Boone, solid first inning. Starts with a fastball for a strike. Weber hitting 353 on the year. One of the leading hitters for this Panther team. Another nice pitch. Just coming right at Justin Weber, leading off this second inning. He wants to get, get his boys back to the yeah, dish. Yes, absolutely. They were having a feast on Mason Price in the first. Didn't miss that fastball by much. Oh, he did not. And he's not wasting any time. He's, hmm. uh, he's coming, coming out right on after. The gas. Yep. Took a little something off that, and it's grounded back up the middle on a couple of hops. Wojo bobbled it. And the leadoff man is aboard. Yeah, that, that's pretty routine. I know he wished he could have that one back. Had to wait a little bit longer than he thought on he this did. one. It took about, I don't know if it was the third or fourth hop that he got it on and then just in the transfer lost the handle. But it's an E6. This is a solid hit to the left side. Good job tracking it by Noah Wolf for out number one. Yeah, yeah Noah, Noah did a nice job of getting over there quickly. 
base runners not able to take second on that. It was all the way down at the bag. He had to scamper back to first. But gave that one a ride. But it's quick out for Connor Boone after the error allows the leadoff man to reach. Now Antonio Zapata. Zapata hitting 273 on the season. Good defensive catcher. And a great TV game. Great TV. Game. Love it. Well, curveball lays back through the left side of the infield. And Zapata has a quick single. Panthers trying to respond to a two run first inning for Coon Rapids. But the Panthers had a, had a big third, fourth, and fifth inning against Champlin Park, where they were able to and eventually beat the Rebels nine to seven. Now the pitcher Mason Price a chance to help his own cause. Price hitting a buck twenty five. Just a little bit low. Go, Mason. <clears throat> that one's right at the knee. Strike one. Boone trying to keep it low. See if he can hit the, uh, get the number nine hitter to ground into a double play. Bryce not offering it the one ankle high though. That was a little bit too low. This one grounded left side, scooped up by Demovic. Tags, throws across, got him. The U5 three inning ending double play. Cardinals back at the plate with a 2 0 lead when we return on CTS. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. We're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. Coon Rapids. Couple of runs on three hits in their first inning. And a chance to get right back up to the dish. And a gem, a defensive play by Jake Demovic. He's able to get that ground ball, step on third, and throw across the diamond. To Noah Cost for the out and get out of the inning without any damage. Trying to figure out where the uh, Spring Lake Park error was charged. Hmm. I don't recall. I don't recall one. But well, unless they they called an error at after first base. No, when the only error they possibly could have. Called is they gave the one that gave would have given uh, Connor Boone second base after no. his well, single. That could, have, that could have been coming the throw back the throw in. back in. Yeah, that's possible. I'll go with that. 
Crawford hitting 333. You know, we see him in the leadoff spot. We we did see him in the leadoff spot and against he got on Grand a Rapids. Of yes, times he did. And uh, he's got speed. Yes, he does. Playing center field tonight. Quickly finds him at self ahead in the count. 3 0. <laughs> Crawford taken all the way, and that one was right there. It was right there. Chases the high fastball three and two. I'll put Price in a little better situation here now. He's got that second strike. He certainly does not want to walk the leadoff hitter. No, he called, it, called out strike. Called third strike. Okay. So after falling behind three and oh, he battles back to get his first strike out of the ball game. Back to the top of the order, Noah Wolf. <laughs> Solid base hit, his first time up. Shows bunt, fouls it back. Oh, well, he's got some speed. You, you saw his speed to get over that ball and left to make that catch in the outfield. Tried the big bender, but didn't really have the break he was looking for. One and one. Fastball sky back out of play. Shapiro dives. Oh, oh. oh I got my I got my pants dirty. It's a good effort though. It's, yeah, but they're brand new pants. Grass stains. Now it looks. I'll, I'll tell my wife. I, you know, I was into the game. And this one skied. Will it stay in play? No, that That's, one's. Hey guys, I'm out. Can you that one's actually that bowling is, that right is, to Shapiro. That is right to me. Wahoo! <laughs> Give it to that young man. Yes. He can return it to the property of authorities. Him. I'd have a tough time throwing it over the net from here, back into the field of play. I, I don't. I think they would prefer that you did not do it that way. But he just the young man's just keeping it. Look at I got. Look at that guy gave me. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's really cool. I came to the ballpark. Some guy gave me a ball. He's out of here. Headed for the parking lot. Two two down in the dirt and all the way to the backstop. So paid a good effort. But fortunately, nobody on base because uh, they might have got an extra base out of that one. That, that may have happened. Well, you're right, that, that uh, young man is running for the parking lot, Dick took the ball and ran. <laughs> this one grounded back up the middle. I don't know whether Price got a piece of it. The throw from McKendon to White is in time, though. That was close, but I just just got him. Not sure if that's a one four three or just four three, but either way, they record the out. Two up, two down for Coon Rapids here in the second. The price settled down a little bit here in this his second inning of work. So far, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it, then he throws uh, one. Then he throws one past the catcher. Wow! Couldn't have asked for a better situation. That is the that is perfect. clear, perfect Howie Shapiro Jakes. One old pitch is in there though, one and one. Well, and you can be a little wild, but you got nobody well, on base. Well, absolutely. This one grounded up the middle. He stopped it, able to get back and recover it. Price, the throw in time to White, and the. Panthers retire the Cardinals one two three in the second two nothing Cardinals as we head to the third inning.
So I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Not quite the dog days of summer, no. but... No. It's comfortable. It's very comfortable. Hey, when there's a cliche there, you go for it. This is television, after all. Top of the order due up here in the top of the third inning for the Spring Lake Park Panthers. Blake Loopman, the left fielder, struck out first time. Big swing and a miss for the first offering here in the third. Nice job by Mason Price to come back after, after throwing a lot of pitches in that first. Getting off relatively quickly in the second. Yeah, through two innings, Connor Boone had one more pitch than Price threw in his first inning. Good fastball right there, one and two. Nice job, Connor, getting ahead of this hitter. He too, like Price, just wants to be efficient and get out there, get out of the inning quickly. He had a nice one last inning. He did. Yep. Allow a couple of base runners, but a double play got him out of the inning relatively quick. Only faced four men through <laughs> 10 pitches in that second inning. That's efficient. Big swing and a miss. He gets Lubin swinging for the second time tonight. Going to bring up Ryan Bratch. First pitch, high to right, into foul territory and out of the reach of Jordan Little. I wasn't sure if Jordan knew where that ball was in the sky, but coming over and not obviously in fair territory, but looked like at first hit, but I thought he was gonna have an opportunity to run it down. Fouled off of himself, 0 and 2. Cardinals are 6 and 3, Joe, in the conference, just two games out of first place. And there are a lot of teams in this top group. Yes, that, there are. They can beat one another on most any night. Yes, there are. Pitch down in the dirt from Boone. He's got a couple to play with, 1 and 2. Bratch, a ground ball right over the bag at second. Nicely fielded by Wojciechowski in the first inning. Off speed pitch popped up right side and out of play. Is that television truck insured? We'll find out. So Tino right now sitting atop the conference at 7 1, followed by Anoka and Centennial at 7 2, Armstrong 6 2, Maple Grove 7 3, and then Coon Rapids. Right behind them at six and three, and the Cardinals have a win this season over Maple Grove. Off speed pitch grounded, and will roll foul in front of Demovic at third. Just tire him out of the plate. Long run back. Come on, 
This one hits squarely to center. A little bit of an adjustment back by Crawford, and he's there for out number two. Outfielders are staring pretty much straight into the sun at this point in the evening. They definitely are. But uh, Crawford doing a nice job of tracking and making it look easy. Both Crawford and Little getting the uh, getting the word before the game that they would be starting. Aaron Murphy looks at a pitch in there for a strike. Murphy with a single and a stolen base in that first inning. This one hit high again to Crawford. We'll back up on it. Wait. And there's another relatively easy out in the outfield. Panthers retired 1 2 3 in the third. Home half after this on CTF. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Rapids a 2-0 lead as we start the bottom of the third inning. Mason Price, a little bit of a shaky outing in the first, yep. but uh, looks strong in the second. Yeah, he's going to try and duplicate that here against uh, a very good hitter, Tyler Wojciechowski. Wojo. Did his job in the first. Drove in a run on a ground out. Well, he, he's hitting over 500 on the season, the leading hitter for this Coon Rapids squad. And he's very dangerous. Going to Looks UMD. at a fastball for a strike. I'm going to UMD next year to join his brother. Yeah, and Alex, is, Alex has had a uh, pretty solid career up there. Oh, yeah, he's and he's having another very good year. Double digit in home run, double digit in RBI. I think he's leading the team in both categories. I think it's something like 50 RBI and 10 home run. Hitting, hitting, I believe, over th well over 300. Yeah, I want to say he was close to 400. Yeah, it may have been year. a little closer to four. That was a good pitch to hit right there. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Two and one. That's why he wears that particular shade of blue, yes. and I do not. One hit high to left, going back on it is Ludman now to his right and making the catch for out number one. Now Ojo got underneath that a little bit and gave it gave it a bit of a ride, but easy easy opportunity for Ludman to come over and make the catch. Noah Koss earned a walk after falling behind 0-2. With that big bender and it skips away. It hit him. Oh, it did. It did hit him. Take the base any way you can get it. Especially when it brushes your shirt. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, won't leave a mark. Let's see it again. Just, uh, just gets the jersey. Come on, boys. Go. 
talked about Justin Reese been hitting a carrying a hot stick as of late. Drove in a run on the yep. fielder's choice his first time up. It was nearly an inning ending double play. Nice but as pitch. you recall, <laughs> throw took the relay throw took, took yep. White off the base. Two and one now to Justin Reeves. <laughs> Runner is off. He swings and misses. The throw is high, but he's able to come back down and put on the tag is Ben McKendon's. Cause caught stealing. We'll see it again as, as you mentioned that throw a little bit high. A little bit. But able to come underneath and get the tag. That was close at the back. He had to jump. Yeah, he did. He came back down and applied the tag. And in time, four out number two. And a 2 2 count. Called third strike. Reeves caught looking. Pretty pitch. And uh, pretty quick inning. Effective for Mason Price, his team back at the plate when we return on CTF. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And if I'm late, she doesn't really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah, I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. Texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, is she texting me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. Back at the ballpark, Jim Rapids a 2-0 lead as we start the third inning. Fourth inning. Apologize. First pitch rolled back up the middle. Wojciechowski fields it, throws across in time. One pitch, one out. A quick way to start for Coon Rapids. And, and again, Mason Price, we talked about him, another efficient inning for him to get his, uh, his club back to the dish quickly. Cardinals holding on to that 2-0 lead. Three hits for Coon Rapids, two hits so far for the Panthers. McKendons will look at a strike. Grounded out to third base to Win end that first inning. Now, wind's picking up a little bit now, too. Patience from McKendon's that didn't miss by much. Two and one. Down and away, three and one. A couple of, a couple of uh, pitches outside the zone for Connor Boom has him in a situation where he needs to come here with a, with a solid pitch. Finds it there, three and two. It's only the second time that Boone has gone to a three ball count. This one 
Hit hard toward the right center gap. A diving effort, but Crawford can't quite come up with it. Great effort, holds him to a single. He made a play on the ball. It was in his glove, partly in his glove, but not, as you mentioned, not able to close it. Defense looking to see if they can turn a pair here. Justin Weber reached on an error. Weird skipper toward short that was mishandled in the glove by Wojciechowski in the second inning. This one hits solidly to left. Back to back singles have the Panthers. Moving along here in the fourth inning. Well, you know, Mason Price gives the opportunity to, in, in, from the mound to give these hitters a chance, and they, they did, can score runs. As you mentioned, a couple of back to back hits puts has them in a good situation, but just one away. And they doubled their number of hits in two pitches. Turn quiz to fly ball to left field his first time up. Hit that one pretty well. This one hit well also. Wolf on the run makes the catch for a big second out. Yeah, big second out, and it's shallow enough, obviously, to keep the, the base runner at second. Antonio Zapata. Zapata had a base knock in his first at bat. Love to see if he can help chip away at this lead. First pitch fouls it off. They have an opportunity any base in the field to get out of the inning with two away. This one hit towards short and it skips past Wojciechowski. Lead runner McKendens will come in to score. And it's a 2-1 ball game. As you mentioned, trying to chip away at this slim 2-0 lead for Coon Rapids. So far, they've been able to cut it in half. Three hits in the inning. And Weber only able to advance as far as second base. And now Mason Price grounded into a double play ending the second inning. This one grounded back up the middle. Wojo scoops, tags, out number three, inning over. But the Panthers able to get one back. We've got a 2-1 ball game. Coon Rapids back at the plate in the bottom of the fourth when CTN continues. Here is my handle and here is my spell. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip, Tip me over and pour me out. Oh. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Cheers. Take time to be a dad today. Hard. What's this? That's my resignation letter. You're resigning. Why? Because you're constantly ignoring me. You're half as active as you used to be, and you get stuff like this. You've been putting me under a lot of pressure lately. That's why I'm ready to quit. I, I forgot. I'll, I'll do better. Please, don't quit on me. OK, but remember, it's not what you say. It's what you do. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Let's go for a walk. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. Pressure cooker here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Coon Rapids with a 2-1 lead. But the Panthers 
pitcher has uh, has really been able to get into a groove here the last couple of innings. And as I said, was starting to say that he threw another one in the he dirt. He did. He did. Of course, that's warmups. So Jake Demovic, a single his first time up, leading off the fourth inning here. Well, the Cardinals like to come back to the plate and see if they can get that run back. But as you mentioned, Mason Price doing a nice job last couple innings, keeping the Cardinals at bay. This one hit well toward the gap and down. For leadoff single for Dumovic, his uh, second hit of the ball game. His uh, his hot hitting continues as he's able to get the the leadoff run on base. We talked about Jake went three for three against Grand Rapids. Now so far here tonight two for two. An opportunity for Michael Zimbeck to see that if he can move five. Along. That makes five five in a row. Oh, oh. Count the end. Michael Zimbeck turns to Bunt, pulls it back. They've got Dumovic off. Oh, he's oh, able to dive he's back lucky. in. He hesitated. He hesitated to get back to the base. Nice play by, by Zepeda to, to rifle it down to first to give him the opportunity to, to pick him off. Curveball hit back up the middle, scooped up by McKendens, flipped to Weber. The toss across, not in time as Zimbeck beats it out. Now, most importantly, the uh, the Panthers get that lead runner at second, and Demovic. Now an opportunity for Jordan Little to see what he can do with a runner at first. Pitch misses wide, 1 0. Jordan Little popped one up to first. Again, they'll check on Zimbeck. He's I was through that one away. <laughs> 2 0 pitch misses low, and it's 3 0. A good eye at the plate by Little to keep that count go, go to 3 0. And now Price has to come back with a, with a solid pitch here. Avoid putting him on. Little shows bunt, pulls back, takes ball four. Two on now with one out. Cardinals trying to increase their 2 1 lead. Squad's going to meet at the mound as Jeff Dainty, the head coach for Spring Lake Park, is going to come out and talk with his pitcher with one away, two on in the bottom of the fourth. I don't think there's going to be any sort of a change here. He's, he's been pitching fairly well. Sorry, hold plate him. He keeps an eye on that meeting at the mound. Make sure they hurry this along. Come 
a big opportunity for Coon Rapids here with two, one on and one out and two on. Like to try and increase this lead. To move to the later innings. Price spins and Zimbeck dives back, but nobody there guarding anyhow. I think that was part of the meeting, Joe. And Make it through over to second. Or most of the meeting. Crawford swings at the first offering and comes up empty on one. Pitch way up high. Easy take for Crawford on that one. He kind of gave a look over at second just before he went into his windup. You can see where Zimbeck was. <laughs> Curveball misses down and away. Smoke back through the box by Crawford. Zimbeck will turn and head for home. And he will score without a throw. Solid RBI single for Jared Crawford. Yeah, nice at bat for Crawford, able to get that run across. And, and as we talked about at the beginning of this inning, they, Coon Rapids able to get that run back that they lost inning past. Not only does Crawford get that RBI, but he continues the opportunity runners at first and second, still with one away for Noah Wolf. Back to the top of the order. Noah Wolf one for one. Singled and scored in the first inning. Got little at second, Crawford at first, and swings over the top of the dropping curveball. Another uh, slow breaker, and this time a called strike, 0-2. That looked like a tough one to, to hold off of. This one misses outside, one and two. Swings at the pitch, died in the dirt. Yeah, I know he'd, uh, he would love to have that opportunity back. That was a pitch that uh, he had no business swinging at. An opportunity for Connor Boone to keep this inning alive with two away. I'd like to add a couple more insurance runs to this league. Boone, an opportunity to help his own cause. He singled, and his runner would later score back in the first inning. Good speed on the bases. Yes, very good speed on the bases. Hit to the right spot in the infield. Could certainly score both. Another great stop by Zepeda. He's, he's, uh, he's earned his keep behind the plate tonight. Wind is again changed direction, now coming almost straight in from center. Curveball called the strike.
Got a little piece. Did. Not enough. It's two and two. Two out, two on. It's a big batter for, for Mason Price. He would like to come out of this inning just with the one run. Ball sky back out of play. Off the house. Goes down after that one, pushes it through the hole on the right side. They'll turn little. He'll now hold up. At third, that was probably a good choice for him to hold up. A look, good throw coming in yeah. from right field by Ryan Bratch. Well, and it looked like it looked like he wanted to go, but Coach Coe was holding him up. Another another nice base hit. Eli Valder coming back out to run again as a courtesy runner for Connor Boone. And Wojciechowski will have the bases loaded up, two out though. It was a big, big opportunity for Wojcik to come up, come up with a key, with a key hit, clutch hit in this situation. This one hit right at the second baseman on a skip off McKendon's, and no chance to for a play, and the Cardinals will score two. Yeah, Crawford just hustled. It's a little bit uh, late getting it in from the infield, but Crawford hustled in to score that second run. That'll make it five to one now in favor of the Cardinals. With two outs, Crawford was continuing to run and able to come across and give the Cardinals one more. A little bit of a brushback pitch to Noah Koss. I already hit him last time. Yeah. <laughs> Not able to check his swing in time, one and one. <laughs> Goes down, chops that one, high hop back to the Mound and Price to White to end the inning. The Cardinals score three and go to the fifth up five to one. You're watching high school baseball on CTN. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Sometimes nature calls and Joe Young ran for the hills. As we're going back to the top of the lineup here in the top of the fifth. Blake Lutman, the batter first pitch from Connor Boone is a strike. Swinging strike for Boone to be ahead in the count 0 and 2. Certainly Connor definitely starting this inning out strong. And 
Ground ball to second. He's gonna get past the diving Brody Lang. And Luton will have a base hit and start this top of the fifth. That'll be the sixth hit of the afternoon for the Spring Lake Park Panthers. Brings up Ryan Bratch. First pitch, nice offering from Connor Boone is in there for a strike. Luton getting a small lead off the bag at first. Ground ball foul. He's gonna put the count at 0-2. And he's back, the one and only Joe Yen. Out of breath, but, feeling a, little. but feeling a little lighter. Oh. A little bit lighter. But feeling much better. So we got the leadoff man, Blake Ludman, on with a single. Yep. On an 0-2 count. Now an 0-2 count to Ryan Bratch. That one didn't miss Ryan Bratch. It did not. One and two. Takes a long look over at Lutman and will now throw over and chase him back to the back. A three, three insurance run for Coon Rapids. In the bottom half of the fourth. Reaches out, folks. This one is short. Whoa, Joe. <laughs> You right there? Seen a good inning yeah. for me so far. <laughs> Medic. Just caught me nurse. right in the nurse. <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need help for Joe. So Wojo caught it on kind of a funny hop, about the same way it caught me in uh, in the midst of swallowing. And uh, he's only able to get the one out, but able to stick with it and throw out Branch at first. Lutman is safe at second. The batter now is Aaron Murphy. Fly curving into foul territory now and toward right. No real chance for Jordan Little, but he'll jog over to retrieve the baseball. 0 oh 2. Well, Boone's been getting getting ahead of the hitters here in this inning. The 0 2 pitch to Lootman was uh, hit for a single. He went down after that, too. One underneath it a bit, sky to the right side. Goss didn't have to move much for that one. Josh White, a walk and a ground out. Now with two out, a runner at second base. His team trailing five to one. Big swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Connor Bone. with that call by our home plate official. So is it? Everyone's titled to their opinion. Misses low, two and two now, the count to White. Left side on a couple of hops. Wojciechowski takes his time, throws across round number three. 
A leadoff single left stranded for the Panthers in the fifth. They trail 5-1. Coon Rapids back at the plate when we return. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. We're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. Spring Lake Park in a hole early. They were able to come back and chip away with a run in the top of the fourth, but the Cardinals respond with three more on the board in the bottom half of that fourth inning. And now have a commanding 5-1 lead. And they get a, a relatively quick inning to get themselves back to the top of the, or back to the plate in the bottom of the fifth. Justin Reeves, the only Cardinal not to bat in that three-run fourth inning. So for two with the fielder's choice, an RBI is a strikeout. This one, ooh, right back at Price. And uh, it took him a second to even think about, it. should I be looking for where that ball is? But apparently he's okay. He just laughed, uh, yeah. laughed the trainer off. I'm not sure where this caught him right in the, he got his leg. Yeah, he's grabbing the, oh, he looked up thinking, where'd it go? Oh, it's over it's, there. Yeah. And that'll be an infield single for Justin Reeves. We'll see if that uh, has any effect on Mason Price. Moving forward, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see what it, what it does to his delivery as he as he steps into his pitch. Jake Dumovic will dig in. He's two for two. Now with a runner at first, nobody out. That one skips away. Finally, Zapata can't control one in the dirt. Well, he's, he's worked really hard at keeping that ball in front of him. This one just, not a lot you can do. <laughs> the problems are apparently I had, I had contagious. A little, I had a little, little frog in the throat. Got rid of it, though. So. That's good. Demovic drops down a bunt, a good one, scooped up by Price. Has to wait for the cover to get there. Oh, I think and it's safe, it, yeah. He pulled, the throw was high, pulled McKendon's off the bag. And uh, Demovic's going to be on with a sacrifice. It'll be a sacrifice, so no, no effect to his, uh, yeah, I thought he, oh, no. He, no, he's definitely That's the off. right call. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. He, he was still he was still coming down. He's gonna reach on the area though. Reeves moves over to third. They check out Domovic. He's back in time. Domovic at first, Reeves at third, Zimbeck at the plate. Goes after the High fastball and fouls it back one zero oh and one. Yeah. <laughs> 
one rolled to the left side. Weber flips to second for one. The turn not in time. Reeves will come across to score. Demovic the first out of the inning. Zimbeck takes his place at first. Well, Cardinal's able to push one more across here in the bottom of the fifth. Increase that lead. Well, Spring Lake Park cut the lead at two to one and had a little bit of, uh, of emotion, but Coon Rapids coming back and scoring three runs in their bottom half of the inning. Increase the lead. Bunt to Tep popped up in foul territory by Jordan Little. Interesting, they have not put another error on the they have it. on the board. I was noticing that. And I don't. I'm not sure whether they're calling Dumovic's a hit. Well, they they have nine hits on the board. I thought they had seven coming into the inning, so they must. Hit and run was on. It took forever for that pitch to get yeah, there. It really did. And uh, Little went swinging at it, trying to protect the runner. Although he knew it was way down and outside. The throw down, I, I didn't think he got him. I don't think he did get him. Well, they called they it, called a it out. out. I, don't, I don't understand. Nobody's he arguing from Coon Rapids. No, so he must have tagged him on, off the base. Off the, yeah, must have. So it's a strike him out, throw him out, double play to end the inning. I usually get excited about that, but I missed it this time. Well, we, we all missed it. Everybody missed it. Not the umpires. We go to the sixth. Coon Rapids six. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. back at the plate. Well, Coach Cole was asking for an explanation from the official. And he's still talking to the home plate official on that, uh, where they call that that second or that third out. I mean, because Little was clearly out swinging at a pitch right. down in a way that he was just trying to protect his runner. And I thought the throw was far enough offline that it didn't Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. I don't know where they called it. They, I mean, they call. Um, Stern talking to. Dude, oh yeah, by, I don't hear that by the home plate umpire. And maybe they called some sort of interference or so, or some something was said on the field. I don't know. 
Yeah, I'm not sure where that third. Uh, that he third certainly out came wasn't from. caught stealing. No, he wasn't. So McKendon's will lead off. Can't catch up with the fastball. It's one and one. This is low. Not very low, just a little bit, but Kendra did a nice job of just holding off of it. Same, similar pitch anyway. Swung on and miss, strike three. And now number one. Nice way to start the top half of the sixth for Coon Rapids. Justin Weber, one for two, but has reached both times. First pitch, high fly to right field, backing off as little, now ranging to his left for out number two. for Luke Turquoise to see if he can continue to keep this inning going. Couple, relatively two outs quickly for Cardinals in the field. Well, Turnquist, two fly balls to left field in his two at bats. And this is now his longest at bat of the evening. 1-1 one, one pitch. Is it going to stay in? No, no. it's going to get out. The two and two. The moment giving chase to the fence, but ran out of real estate. Chop to Demovic, Bobbles, still has time, makes the throw for round number three. We go to the bottom of the six, it's Coon Rapids six. Spring Lake Park one, you're watching High School Baseball on CTF. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Good one, son. Last summer, my new dad took me on vacation. First, we went deep sea fishing. Wow! I'm so proud of you, son. And then we went on Thunder Shark. That was awesome! Let's go again! Three times. <laughs> I gotta say, it was pretty cool. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Oh, not again. Coach Co talking to Jester Reeves, who is uh, manning the scorebook. After he gives uh, him the explanation, maybe he can come over and explain it to us. Yeah, well, we'll uh, that would be not, that would be good. I would like that. I, I put a bunch of question marks on my <laughs> scorebook uh, at the end of the so. fifth inning, and I, I I don't do that often. Let me tell you.
Well, we have a new pitcher. Derek Solwell. Getting the opportunity here. As uh, Mason Price, his afternoon is finished. Solwell with a one and all record, a 4.94 earned run average. Got five and two thirds innings, giving up eight hits, six runs, four of them earned. Couple of walks, couple of strikeouts. But look out, because he's hit six batters by pitch. <laughs> well, you know. Get a little wild. Keep you, keep you from you digging awake. in too yeah. deep. <laughs> It's a, you know, that's a, that's a powerful over, weapon that's over, on the mound. That's over a hit Fear. batter an inning. Pitched a little over, a little over five and two-thirds innings, hit six batters. Okay. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see if the law of averages stay. Again, don't dig in. Don't dig in. You a little chilly there, Joe? No. Oh. That you're putting on your, your no. jacket? Just picking it up off the ground. But thanks for your concern. Well, I was, you know. Crawford shows bunt, pops it up in foul territory, and it'll fall. I was thinking maybe somebody, one. somebody in the truck could come out and bring you a blanket. Have you seen the CTN blankets? They're nice. <laughs> Very comfy. That's good. Turns on an inside pitch and flares it through the left side for a leadoff single. Well, Crawford's had a nice afternoon at the plate. His second hit, drove one in and scored one in that fourth inning. I'll bring up Matt Essler. First opportunity to see Matt here this afternoon. Matt hitting 200 on the season. Foul and out of play. <laughs> Chops this one to the right side, scooped up by Solwell, flipped to White for out number one. And Crawford will advance to second base on the play. He gets the runner along here with just one away. Opportunity for Connor Boone. Boone two for three. Pitch way up on. Cardinals with 10 base hits so far this afternoon. Continuing to hit the ball well. Another one that doesn't even threaten the strike zone. That time he finds the spot right at the knees, two and one. Weber coming in from short to keep Crawford close with the bag at second. Boom, Big swing. swings and misses. Big swing and miss. Two and two. We're gonna check on him this time and the ball bounces away and Crawford is off to the races. And he will advance to third on the air. Oh, 
Now with one away, he moves Crawford to third there. You can see the pickoff move down low in the dirt. And Crawford wisely able to advance the base. Up high, three and two, the counts counter Boone now. One out, and that runner at third base. And up high again, ball four. Oh, look at that. Ball is the ball thrown back from catcher got away from Selwell and Crawford hustles in from third. That's why you always got to pay attention. Yep. That's why you back up your pitcher. That's and exactly Crawford right. Just paying attention when Joe wasn't. <laughs> Eli Valder. So he'll get he'll running get, for Boone. He'll get uh, base on error, the third base, third base and home on errors. Yeah, four errors committed here by the Panthers. Ooh, big swing and a miss, Wojo. Yeah, he wanted that one. He did. Instead, it's 0-1. Is Valder the runner at first yes, again? Yes, correct. Okay. Did you say that I already? did. I did. Was I still sitting right here? Yeah, you were. No, you were off in the bathroom. Wojo fouls that one off out of play. 0-2. Oh <laughs> Called third strike. Oh. Right there at the knees. Big second out. Huge for huge, Derek Salwell. Huge second out. Just want to get back at the plate. An opportunity to trailing if they can get out of this thing just by six. Just by six. Well, you got to be positive if you're in that visiting dugout. Correct. Noah Koss. 0 for 1. Was walked and, and hit by a pitch his first two at bats. Good fastball right on the inside edge. From Solwell, evens the count one and one. Guy just beyond the infield, backing up slowly is Weber, and then he nearly wow. dropped it. <laughs> that would have been interesting. It. And that ends the inning. Cardinals up 7 1, going to the seventh. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Cardinals a big lead and big part of the reason is Connor Boone. Solid six so far on the hill. Yeah, look at the, look at the close it out. Giving up just the one run, couple of strikeouts. Just the one walk. Just the one walk and six hits. 
Antonio Zepeda, the catcher, leading off and swinging for that pitch, diving down and away, one and one. One hit on a line, but foul. You gotta hold that pitch just to not keep it straight. Looking to rifle that down the third baseline. Pitch missed low, two and two. One hit. Dumovic almost able to snare it, but uh, just able to knock it down. I got a piece of it. All right, let's turn one here. Being a, a uh, leadoff single for Antonio Zepeda. Here we go, His third hit of the ball game. It's a nice afternoon for your number eight hitter. Absolutely. And now new pitcher Derek Salwell, his first at bat. Well, Sawwell just with a couple of bats, but a hit in one of those two at bats, so he's hitting 500 on the season. Good pitch right there to even the count one and one. Fastball hit back to the mound. Boone spins to Wojo for one. The turn in time to Noah Cost. It goes 1 6 3 double play to eliminate that leadoff single. You get that leadoff single and let your defense do the rest. A nice double play started by that young man right there, Connor Boone. His uh, ball right back to him quickly. Turns around, throws it to Wojo. He's a quick throw over to first plenty of time to get that double play. Back to the top of the order, Blake Loopman. One for three, couple of strikeouts and a single against Connor Boone this afternoon. No chance at holding up on that. And it's a good pitch anyhow, one and one. Tough indecision in baseball. Two and one. Lutman uh, shaking his head at himself yeah. after offering for that one, which was down He's so out wanted, of the zone. So wanted that one back. You can tell on his face. Two and two. There it is. That time he doesn't swing, but he's called out on strikes. A good pitch from Connor Boone and a fitting end for his afternoon. He goes the distance, seven innings, one run allowed. His team is 7 1 winner. That's four in a row now for Coon Rapids. That'll push their record to eight and five as they've got uh, they've got some tough road games coming up. They've got a game this week uh, they got at Andover and then Saturday at Hill Murray. Before we see him again next Monday night, Joe, week from tonight, under the lights at Wintercrest against Armstrong should be a good game. There you go. Boys lacrosse coming up on Wednesday and then another night game for the softball team this time against Mount West Tonka again over in Alpha and Park on a Friday evening. And then as you mentioned, we'll see this baseball team again on Ma 11. Ma 11, it's Ma 11 versus Pa 11. <laughs> Oops, you know that why sometimes very elusive. And it just it's only <laughs> sometimes there. Occasionally. Sometimes why. All right, but that's gonna do it. <laughs> This edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score for the Cardinal Sports Complex. It's Coon Rapids 7, Spring Lake Park 1. 
I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Alex Spiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.